folks. I'm going to deviate a little bit from my model airplane stuff and mechanical stuff. We're going to talk about spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce? Well, yeah. My dad, who passed away just this past year, had spaghetti sauce that I really liked. The whole family loved it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a video and show you how I do it. Only this time, I'm going to use this Robo stir. I don't know if you've seen these, and I don't know if this is going to work. Dad, if you're watching, first thing we have is a pound of extra lean ground beef. We have one quarter of an onion, one quarter of a pepper, and one chopped celery. Here we have one tablespoon of sugar, some salt and pepper. We've got the Hunt's tomato sauce, the Hunt's tomato paste, and the stewed tomatoes. This is the Italian recipe. And we're using the cream mitt spaghetti. That's one pound. And that should be enough for four people. And of course, we've got the, uh, the bread. We've got Crisco oil for starting. We're preheating the pan now. So let's go ahead and uh, put in the next segment. Okay, first thing I do is just put a little oil in there. I'm going to coat the bottom of the pan. It's being preheated right now. First coat of pure vegetable oil. And next, you always want to wash your hands very well before you get started. I've already washed my hands, but this is the point. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the meat. And you want to put this in, break this all up, get it into the pan. I want to take a little salt and pepper. Okay, this is the way the Robo Stir is supposed to work. That works pretty good there. Let's just see what happens when I put it in here. That doesn't look like that's going to work in there at all, folks. It's stuck. Okay, what I'm going to do is put the lid on for a moment. Go ahead and see how we're doing here. Break up the meat. And continue to just make smaller and smaller pieces. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit here. You want to cook this until you just start to get sear marks. You know, if you use ground turkey instead, it's healthier, and you'd be hard-pressed to taste the difference. Okay, what we're doing is we're getting it nice and brown, and I'm going to go ahead and start adding my vegetables to it now. First, throw in the onions. Oh, that's looking good. Now the pepper. Next, the celery. Boy, that's starting to really smell good. Let's go ahead and put in the stewed tomatoes. Chop these up a little bit so they're not real big or it gets piece. That's starting to look pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomato sauce now. Thick stuff, so you have to spoon it out. All right, the next thing we're going to do is put the water in. That's a half a cup of water. The most important thing is a tablespoon of sugar. This takes the bite off of the tomatoes. And then I'm going to now try. 
the Robo Stir. Push the button, it vibrates around, and this is supposed to stir. Put it over here on the side and see what it You know, I've tasted many great spaghetti sauces, and I know there are many different ways to make it other than this way. It's my dad's way, though. I really started out to make a video about the Robo Stir, and now I am hungry. Believe me, this, this is not that uh, not that heavy, really. Well, I think the Robo Stir is a bust. It must be okay for maybe runny sauces, and this is pretty runny, but um, I think it needs a lot of work, so it, it gets an F for me. Uh, it's cute. And the batteries are almost dead already, and they were brand new. Let this simmer now for one hour on low heat, and uh, then I'm going to show you how to cook this again. They were boiling the water. I wanted to mention that you put at least a teaspoon of salt in the water when you're boiling it, and uh, that gives a little extra flavor to the spaghetti. It also makes the water boil faster. Let's go ahead and test this now. This looks kind of good. We have been uh, simmering the sauce now for over an hour, actually, and it's really good. The spaghetti, there's several ways. This is a one pound box, and there's a couple ways to measure it. This is good for four people, I would believe. You make an okay symbol in your hand like this. And that to the first knuckle, okay? So, We're going to go ahead and put the whole box in because there's two of this and I like the leftovers. Now some people will say that you should break the spaghetti in two and it's easier easier to um, to cook, but I don't. Let it go ahead and soak down in here and get that going. So let's go take a little bit. See, by putting the spaghetti in that way, it keeps that from clumping all together. I'm going to let this boil for about eight minutes and uh, I like it chewy. So, I don't like it real soggy. Okay, got the spaghetti uh, a little chewy. That's the way I like it. It's been cooking about eight minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bowl. Not going to strain it because actually this juice is good for you. The starch in the water also adds to the flavor of the sauce. Got the sauce done here and the spaghetti. I'm going to go ahead and put some a serving on my plate. The sauce on here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go in and sit down. Okay, I'm having a little spaghetti with my dad right here, being up the slot, I know it's right there, I know you're going to love this dad, put a little parmesan cheese on top, got the salad, cheers to everybody, cheers to my dad, thanks for the recipe, and let's see how it tastes. Thanks, Dad. Rest in peace, Dad. The spaghetti sauce was great.